All right, eighth graders, this is to help you with question seven on CR 12. It says, on the grid, draw the line y equals negative two. Okay, to, to know what the line y equals negative two will look like, you could always just plot some points on that line. And they're telling you y has to be negative two. So for y equals negative two, one point on that line could be one comma negative two. The y has to be negative two. You know, our points are always x comma y. So another point could be 5 comma, comma what? Comma negative 2 because they tell us y must be negative 2. Y could start with negative 7. Negative 7 what? Oh, negative 7, negative 2. So if you have a hard time visualizing what the line y equals negative 2 will look like, just plot some points on that line. So let's take a look at 5, negative 2. 2 would be 5 to the right, 2 down. All right. Let's look at 1, negative 2. Started the origin, 1 to the right, 2 down. Mm, okay. Let's take a look at negative 7, negative 2. 7 to the left, 2 down. So this is this beautiful horizontal line. The line y equals negative 2. And again, I don't use a straight edge when I'm making my videos. I would suggest you use a straight edge when you're completing your CRs. Just a thought. This is looking how bumpy my y equals negative 2 looks. And then we normally label our line y equals negative 2. And what throws students off sometimes, they're like, but the y-axis is a vertical line. I get that. But for y equals negative 2, every point on that line will be two units down from wherever you go, left or right, and then you have to move two units down. So always y equals some number will be a horizontal line. If you had x equals some number, that's when you're going to get a vertical line, just so you're aware. All right, so I've done step A. Boom. Now they want me to plot the point negative 4, 1 and label the coordinates. All right, so I start at the origin. I move 4 left and 1 up. And they want you to label it with the coordinates. That means plot the point and do negative 4, 1. There you go. So if you're still um, just not there yet with plotting points, you always start at the origin. Origin is 0, 0. And this minus says 4 left from that origin, and the y coordinate says 1 up. All right, 4 left, 1 up. And if you're not there yet, you'll get there, I promise it. Now reflect that point across the line y equals negative 2. Label the coordinates of the reflected point. All right, so then what we're doing now is we're reflecting it over this line. So it's like if this is where you had a mirror, where would that image be? Well, let's see if this one is 1, two, three, above the line of reflection, three above line of reflection, which is your y equals negative two, then when you're going to plot the image, you have to go one, two, three below. You need to go three below line of reflection. So then you have to go 3 below y equals negative 2. And that point would be negative 4, negative 5. Okay? Oops. I'm just keeping track of what I've done. And then finally, translate that second point, that negative 4, negative 5. They want you to translate the point negative 4, negative 5, horizontally, 5 units in the positive direction. So that means they want you to take that and move it 5 units to the right. Slide it 5 units to the right, horizontally, to the right, in the positive direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I take that point and I move it, slide it five to the right. 
I end up at looks like 1, negative 5. There we go. Label the coordinates. The coordinates of that point was 1, negative 5. And that means we need to make sure we plot the point and then in parentheses write 1, negative 5 when they want you to label those coordinates. All right, I hope that helped.